water feeds the world. Nowhere is this more evident than in 10 of the planet's largest river basins, where local shortages and inequitable access to water threaten the livelihoods of more than 1.5 billion people, a third of whom are among the poorest on Earth. But our use of water and land also presents real opportunities to improve the livelihoods of the world's poorest and safeguard ecosystems long term. It is possible that we have enough water to meet our food, energy, industrial and environmental demands well into the 21st century. Inefficient and unfair use of water prevents poor farmers from growing crops, fishers from reeling in their catches and communities from enjoying clean drinking water. How can we ensure that enough water of the right quality is available to the right people at the right time? The solution lies in improved water management. Fair management of water for food production and poverty elevation is complex and difficult to achieve because of incomplete, contradictory and changing needs. Tackling such challenges requires an integrated and socially inclusive approach that engages a wide range of people and organizations and develops and tests solutions. Research can play a powerful role. It can help create new knowledge and broker the exchange of information between farmers, professionals, investors and government officials. Powered by the right incentives, whether economic, social, or simply a shared desire to solve a common problem. Farmers, fishers, policymakers, investors, and researchers will change the way they do things on their own terms, for their own reasons, and to their own advantage. Research is productive when it contributes to real outcomes, increased crop yields, bigger fish catches, and more equitable water sharing. There is no one size fits all solution. The water and food challenges we face are complex and solving them will take time, knowledge and engagement. Quick fixes don't work. Research for development can.